Hey guys, so here bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to another, well, not challenge a spectate, but it is a high rating spectate. Uh, we're watching Skarna. Now, if you're a long-term viewer of my channel, there has been an ongoing meme. I, I don't know really what to call it. This is, believe it or not, my first ever Skarna video on the history of my YouTube channel. Look it up. Like, this this is the first one. It's not me playing the Skarna. So somebody like, now you have to play it, and maybe that will be it. Uh, Pengu with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, dude. Um... But yeah, like, maybe we'll watch this, see what this player does. It's one of the best EUS Skarna players, so we get to see if there's any little things that we can kind of go, oh, that's a thing. Um, and then we might play a Skarna game in the next few days. Uh, but just to say, this is technically not the most, or the best Skarna player on EUS, but this is like the third or something like that. Uh, unfortunately, the guy who's in first hasn't played for 25 days, and their replay file uh, files are out of date. But this guy, Skarna... Skana V Sa, sure, has played 92 games. He's got overall a 76% win rate, but specifically on Skana, he's a Skana slash Rengar player. 76 games of Skana, 15 games of Rengar, and with Skana has got a 80.3% win rate. Um, and yeah, they're the third best Skana overall, second best Skana on EU West, and they have an average uh, KDA of 8.3 kills, 4.3 deaths, and 7.4 assists. So, clearly very good. And if you're like, you know, Fizz is dead to Yone. Uh, if you're kind of like, okay, why haven't I done anything with Skarna? I don't like the core fundamental of the champion in the in the fact that um, one item counters him, in essence. If you buy a QSS or your support buy it, I think Mikhail's even works. A lot of what Skarna is, is his ultimate that he just stings somebody and grabs them. And that's his main thing. And obviously, most of the time, he's wanting to get the AD carry or get, you know, the mage. Apparently, Mikhail's doesn't, so it's just QSS. Um, but yeah, you just you just buy QSS, and then Skarna is in essence, well, his main job is kind of poop, um, which I just don't like the feeling of that. Like his damage is very subpar. Obviously, he's a tank. He's an engaging tank, and his one main form of engage gets countered by an item purchase. Uh, cleanse doesn't work, no. It's just apparently QSS, uh, which is Quicksilver Sash if you are new to the game. It's an item that removes effects, uh, including suppressions, and that is what Skarna ult is. Suppressions are uh, Malzahar ult, um, Warwick ultimate as well, I believe, and Skarna ult. There might be one more suppression here or there. Uh, but as you can see, he's doing a fast jungle clear. He's pulling two camps at the same time. And you've got to be careful, obviously, of this. Because if you go out of position slightly on one side, they'll both reset. Um, but there's that. What is Skana's passive? Uh, so the crystal spawns on the maps. Um, so basically, we can't actually see them because there's a replay bug right now. He's actually on one right now. And now we can see it. Um, so that is one of Skana's passive. So and weirdly, the, the replay hasn't loaded them, I guess, until Skana goes on them. That's very odd. Uh, but those basically buff Skarna. Whenever he's in this big circle of the um, the ring, he basically gains uh, movement speed and attack speed and re restores mana per second. So it's just a nice little zoned buff for Skarna. It's only for Skarna, by the way. Um, so it's not like, oh, he buffs his old team. It may be if he buffed his old team with that effect, it might be a lot better as a champion, and that might make it more useful. Is he going to fight a Graves in a 1v1? No way. He is. Fiora's on her way back. Skarna is at the moment losing this fight quite badly. I, I didn't, yeah, that I didn't see that going incredibly well for a Skarna, if I'm honest, and I'm not incredibly surprised. Um, Graves is quite strong in a 1v1, so that was a bit weird that uh, Skarna took that fight. Uh, someone also has pointed out that, uh, yeah, no skin. Um, is like the, the third best Skarna in the world isn't running a skin at all. Meanwhile, Yone gets another kill on the Fizz. Um, Tam Kench's W, is that a suppression? Maybe? Yone got a double kill in mid lane. Again, that champion is still very strong. We made a, a video of him recently. Like, is he too strong still? He's still very strong. Double kill for the enemy bot lane. It's center AD carry, the, uh, the champion that, uh, that I think is great. <laughs> Um, but anyway, Skarna gonna just continue farming. Has got... Oh, is he going Warrior? It looks like Skarna might be going Warrior. He's getting another zone, so now that's loaded into the replay. It's so weird that they're not showing until he goes on them. 
He's going to get the other scuttle, which means Skarna both scuttles. Graves has got neither, and he's now straight onto the dragon. And obviously, with him having a zone right there, he is actually getting buffed right now to do this dragon. Uh, but you know, it's a bit of a risk, but hopefully you'll be fine. I think the enemy bot lane's gone back. Um, Fizz is a bit weak, so he might not come, but no Graves. Um, which is a bit odd. I don't know where the Graves is in the, in the weird way that, you know, he didn't fight for any scuttle crabs or anything that that's a bit bizarre for for season 10 but he didn't and he loses up the first dragon yone got another kill um but obviously we're trying to focus here on skana and he does by the way i will say just like whatever he does have a good game this game uh but just nothing so far um but you know Sk skana again is not known exactly for his early game you could say um definitely more mid to late game champion uh we you know He's a running at champion, so in essence, to run at people, he really needs to get items and strength. Uh, and someone did point out earlier as well, the Graves' name. Yes, I do approve of the Graves' name. Detroit, Detroit Smash. Uh, we actually added a new bit thing with Detroit Smash earlier today. If you don't know what that is, it's about My Hero Academia. Uh, really good. Uh, there's a Graves gank in bot lane. We may as well have a little look while Scar is just farming, and they will survive. And you, we'll, we'll, we'll say these three... Not the best ganking lane until really you get Yumi ultimate most likely because Ezreal brings no CC. Graves has a slow with his W and Yumi has a slow with her Q but like their only hard CC is Yumi ultimate and that again you have to be very close in order to actually make that really work. But um, yeah. So Skarna worth noting as well has got Conqueror. Someone did say you know why does he take Conqueror over phase rush. I will check something for everybody right now. He takes Conqueror, not every game. So he's played two games of Conqueror in a row. Meanwhile, Fiora dies in the 1v1. He then did a um, phase rush game. Most of the time, though, I'm looking through his history. He's running Conqueror most of the time with a occasional phase rush uses. All right, so Skarna now going to do a little bit of pokey on the Orn. Is going to ult him. And you can see that move, which is actually he's dealing more damage than I thought. But he's not. Is he going to get the kill? He does get the kill. Um, so the biggest thing with Skarna is when he ults, uh, you'll see a good Skarna player right at the end um, when the latch is about to unlatch, you turn. So you turn, and the reason why you do that, it, it, it makes your opponent further away from safety um, in the last second. So that turn probably honestly got him the kill, or probably would have got the safety if Skarna didn't do that. But it's a good solo kill. More damage from Skarna than I expected, if I'm honest. Ord is quite tanky, but he will go down. Uh, yeah, this Fizz on the enemy team having a pretty bad game. And the Yone having a great game. Snowballs happen, obviously, in every single rating in the game. Uh, this right now, again, this player on this account is in Diamond 2. But I would presume the MMR is higher with this person having like an 80% win rate. I can, I guess, check just some people in the game. Uh, so the Yone, for example, he's in Diamond 1. Um, the... Let's have a look. Where is the game? I've lost the game itself. Oh, yeah. Here. The Fiora is... Well, she's actually Diamond 3, but in promo. So it's just a high Diamond game, really. Um, but it was worth noting that the best Skarna players, I will just point out. So in the world, number 1 is an EU Northeast player. That's in Grandmaster. Then it's a Diamond 2 EU West player, that's a Smurf. Then there's a, another Diamond 2 player, another Diamond 2 player, then a Grandmaster player. No one in the top seven is Challenger. And then we have a couple of Challenger people on LAS and LAN. Um, but yeah, normally when you're when I'm doing these kind of spectating episodes, the top five is Challenger, 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 Challenger. Not with Skarna. Um, which again, if I'm honest, doesn't really surprise me. Meanwhile, bot lane having a big fight. Uh, it is a 2v2. Senna's dying. I'm shocked. Um, meanwhile, Skarna might make his way over, but the enemy team got another double kill, and Skarna is on his way. Uh, Fizz is dead in mid lane again. And, uh, sorry, um, Skarna is one to... He ults. He does get the ultimate off. He does do the turn. He does do a little bit of damage, but this to me is questionable, and he just goes down. I mean, that was odd. So already I will say, meanwhile, Fiora and Orn, she doesn't save a W for his ultimate, which is usually what the Fiora would do. Uh, this Skarn has done a couple of questionable things. Taking the fight in, uh, with the Graves in the top river and then doing that 2v1. Just, just 
get Scarlet isn't that strong. <laughs> like it just it just, just isn't. Um, Scarlet is what I would call a team synergy pick rather than a individual pick. Um, that if you know the enemy does buy that QSS, well then what you're hoping for is your team can blow the QSS before Scarlet can get there, or if let's say Scarlet goes for his ult and the Ezreal, let's say QSS is it, then. The Leona, after the QSS effect has worn off, ults then the Ezreal, and then he can't get out of that, for example. Like, you're, you're looking for your team to get involved with you as Skarna. And obviously, it depends how cocky the enemy team is. Um, we played, and people say, you played a game of Skarna. I played a game of Skarna a couple weeks ago. It, it didn't make its way on the YouTube channel because it was just a normal game. But I actually had a lot of fun. I had more fun than I actually expected. Um, but the enemy team, from memory, didn't buy QSS against me. That's obviously a great situation. Obviously, that is the counter to Skarna, is QSS, and no one bought it. So it was a really free game for me to, like, go, oh, I'm going to ult one of the carries. You're mine now. Meanwhile, Skarna is finding himself a fish. He might continue for this because Yone is around. Oh, the nice Yone ultimate. We have then his E, and Skarna picks up the kill. This poor, poor fizz. Like, he just has no strength, and... I've said it a couple times, League of Legends right now is quite a snowboarding game, you could say. Um, and with Season 11, it's probably going to get more snowbally with the new items. Um, if you get a mythic, if you get fed in the early game and you base and like, oh, I've got my mythic item already, and they have components, there's no chance. Like, literally, there is no chance. So, what I would say is... Be prepared for the meta to move to potentially more early game focus at least the start, well, in pre-season potentially until they balance it more or even the start of season 11. Early game champions, I think, will be better because they're going to have the early game pressure to get the mythic item quicker and therefore you can kind of just pop off and go crazy. So, hell yeah. Uh, meanwhile, all, also, all, that, all ultimate happened again in top lane. We saw the minimap. Fizz also was there. And, uh, well, Fizz is probably just going to be looking for roam opportunities because he's legitimately half in farm right now. Um, and he can't lane. Um, so, again, it's, it's worth noting if a, if a high diamond player can have this rough of a game, it's okay for you to have it too. A lot of the league community is still quite elitist to be like, if you had one bad game, you suck. Everyone has. Every single player has bad games. Like it or not, it's just the way of it. Meanwhile, nice double kill for bot lane. Uh, top lane, Fiora goes down to a Fizz gank, by the way. But Senna gets herself a double kill. Skana finding the Graves has uh, has got his ult. Now, okay, so he does the stun combo. Then he goes to the ultimate. Unfortunately, Leona kind of mucked that up. Um, she didn't layer the stun very well. Senna does go down, I think, to the Graves. And that will be the end of that. But maybe a tower plate is in order for the Skana. Dragon is up again, so I probably expect the Skarna maybe to go over there with knowing that the Graves is low. Or not, because there is a teleport flank happening by Orn. So Graves is continuing. Orn is now here. Uh, he misses his knockup, weirdly. And also, it's a two-level advantage of Skarna. So the Graves hasn't had the best of game, but what I would say is kind of weirding me out. Graves as a champion in the in the jungle is known for being insanely good at farming, right? A lot of Graves is farm way too much and they don't get involved, but then they eventually get involved and they're like, oh, he kills everything. The Skarn is actually owning the Graves in farm. That's surprising, but yeah, that is a bit surprising. You swear the enemy team is ignoring the sky and the pilots. It could just be the replay file. The replay files are still to this day quite bugged. Um... Someone already knows the video title of what I was actually thinking. Am I that obvious of what I'm going to title videos? Um, but yeah, so far, you know, the Skarna's not done bad. Build-wise, he's got two daggers, which... I don't really know what that's up for. Triforce? Uh, he's trying to find the uh, the kill with the Fiora. She ornt cleverly. Is that a word? Sure. Um, he, d he doesn't use his ultimate because Fiora was ready to parry. And that would have stunned the Orn, and that might have got the Orn killed. So he actually didn't use his ultimate as the secondary use, which was smart. And they will break over the top tower. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of just that type of play. That was very odd. Um, it doesn't feel the most skillful thing to me. Skarna is staying, though. Fiora potentially in trouble, but now Skarna's about maybe they'll be okay here. He ults, 
Fiora's not doing any damage. Could have done more damage in that time. Graves will go down, though, in the end, as Skana now going onto the Orn. Orn is going aggressive on the Fiora, who is not dead, and they both survive just. By the way, in that whole time, Yone, yes, the mid laner, just killed the dragon by himself. So that's always nice. So uh, well done to the Yone, obviously having a great game in mid lane. But uh, yeah, not bad by the Skana. His damage right now, I'd say, is uh, he's got a stinger. Oh, right, okay. Um, the damage isn't too bad, if I'm honest. Um, I doubt his damage scales well into mid to late game, if I'm honest. I, I presume he's more mid game focused with his damage and then tank focused in late game. But uh, yeah, it's it's like another legendary. This this poor poor fizz. <laughs> like oh my god, um, stinger sheen for the CDR. Yeah, he's going CDR central with his item build. So he's got now 20% cooldown reduction. He's found the graves. He's taking this zone, so he gets another one. We get to see it in the replay now. The two-level advantage is still for the Skana. He's backing out. He's going back in. He's got the red smite on the graves. He's outnumbered three to one. He's still charging forward. He's now outnumbered four to one, and he does go down, but they get the kill on graves. So that actually isn't too bad, but they do get a shutdown on the Skana. So again, some questionable things that the Skana is doing every now and then. Uh, very aggressive. Um, doesn't back off. And it's a bit weird, but it's it's doing okay. Uh, Bione, by the way, has already got his Death's Dance. So this guy probably isn't dying. Or it's going to be very difficult to kill him with his damage that he's doing. And also now with the damage reduction, lifesteal, etc. Good luck killing him. Skana respawning though and has picked up a more a phage which obviously is going to help with movement speed. Um, definitely needs movement speed with being a running champion like Skana. Um, which will be going for Triforce. So is he, would he be going, he can't be going Nashers right? Would he be going Nashers? I'm going to have a look at his build. Um, oh okay. Wait am I dumb? Is Sting a part of that now? Is Triforce now? I can't even remember. I don't think so. Is it? It is for Triforce. Oh, it is. Never mind. Oh, yeah. That got changed, like, what, two, three years ago? <laughs> My bad. Um, anyway, that's why he's got Stinger. <laughs> Oops. What I would say is when you're doing live commentaries, it's very easy to kind of become a bit of a derp. He's got his Triforce. Hey, guys, the Stinger went into Triforce. It went... Mm-hmm. Yep. Anyway, farm-wise, still doing pretty well. Actually out-farming his own Senna. Still 30-plus farm again over the Graves. Um, Fizz still has not completed an item. Has got Zonya components and Ninja Tabby to try and survive. Oh, man. Uh, Ezreal doing really well. 6-1 Ezreal. So that will be kind of the main person that they have to try and take care of. Skana now trying to get over to his Leona. Nice slow, I guess. Leona does survive in the end. Yone looking aggressive. Not too much, though. And Yone steals the Scuttle, which Skana will not like that. Because bonus XP actually happens with junglers with scuttles. So you shouldn't really take them away from junglers. Because you're actually, let's say, random numbers. Say you get 100 XP from a scuttle. A jungler might be getting 120 XP. So for the greater good of your team, you're actually getting more XP if you give that to the jungler. Um, but uh, the Yone didn't do that. Which is something, I guess. Skana going to go down in bot lane. This is something that we've always said when we're watching good junglers. Is you always notice that their high farm numbers usually are from, yeah, farming the jungle well. But also just jumping into lanes every now and then. And just going, oh, I'm just going to farm this just for a wave or two. I'm just going to push it up. And that's like 18 farm extra or like whatever. Like 12 farm extra. If you do three waves, it's, it's more. Like it, it just helps. Every little helps, you know. Anyway, Skana flashes, gets the Fizz. Skana now going onto the Graves, and I think it was the Ezreal. He's going to 2v1. He's pretty squishy. The damage, though, is actually decent, and will kill two people. Damn, triple kill Skana, 6-2 right now. Going over the Orn, double kill for the Fiora. She neutralizes her KD, and she's been farming really well. She's 40 farm above the Orn this game. But yeah, Skana doing really well in that fight. Flash instantly got the kill on the Fizz. Again, item build reminding people has gone warrior. You know, that that is something that I don't I don't think I did when I played Skana. I, I can't remember, but I don't think I did. And they are going to go for this uh, uh, inhibitor as well. But yeah, that damage wasn't bad. Uh, he is ulting, just runs to the Fizz, ults him. And with his team, chain CC, kills the Fizz. This, this poor Fizz. 
Like, again, it, it, you know, we've always mentioned tilt is obviously a thing. Is this Fizz tilted? Most likely. Do I blame him? No. It, it, you can't really help when you're having a really poop game. Um, and with the way that League of Legends is right now, comeback catch-up mechanics and stuff, it's hard. Like, especially you're playing Fizz. It's a assassin. So in order to do anything as Fizz, guess what? You have to pretty much go in. If this Fizz goes in, he's dead. So that's just the, the rough thing. Anyway, item build for uh, Skarna now, which doesn't now not surprise me, is starting to build tankier components. And then with that movement speed, this is going to be Righteous Glory. Uh, obviously, great item, cooldown reduction, health. I think even health regen. And then its active use is a speed up. So, again, he's a running champion. He needs speed in order to get to his target, especially when he doesn't have flash. Big shutdown over for the Fizz. Or actually, not a big shutdown because Yode died recently. But the Fizz does get a kill. I bet that made him feel quite good. Um, Baron is being pinged by the Yone. Maybe that could have been done. I don't really know what Skarna's doing, if I'm honest. He's hunting a cat. He's running into the enemy base. He's at the moment not achieving anything. He's fighting 3v1. He's killing 3v1. What? This guy is a mad lad. It's th this Skarna has the weirdest playstyle I think I've ever seen. I'm actually impressed he got one kill, if I'm honest. But why? <laughs> like, what was that about? <laughs> like, what was there? Like, I don't, okay, I don't logically get why he did that. Maybe he was just doing it for fun because it's a big stop. I don't know. Um, anyway, Leona, nice chain CC. Center ultimate coming over the top. Fiora looking to do some damage if she can. Finish off the kill. Any second with the ultimate gets the heal as well. You buy one, you don't get one free this time. And Leona going back in as well. The Fizz is actually doing some damage finally. Uh, Fiora doing a bit of more damage as well. Orn is probably going to get away. Skarna's respawned, and I don't want to look at him. Ezra going to be doing some maybe clean up our duties. Senna gets another kill. Ezra now finding himself a Senna. With then the Yumi speed ups, I do not see the Senna being able to get away unless Yone or they back off. They're backing off because the minions are now starting to flood into their base. Uh, yeah, that Skarna, let's, we could call it, he might be limit testing. Um, possibly. Like, oh snap, I'm quite strong. Can I kill them all right now? You get, you're only going to know that if you test it. Yone finding himself a Yasuo double kill for him in one motion. Or an ultimate comes through a bit too late. Uh, Yone is just an absolute monster this game. And another kill. There we go. Skarna, by the way, as well. He's having none of it. Skarna cannot be bothered. I'm ending the game. No, I'm ending the game. Screw you guys. The game's over. He ults the cat. He's... Look at the damage! Whoa! That's not bad. It's a Yumi, obviously, but like, I'm actually su double kill. I'm actually surprised in that damage. That's more than I would have expected, but he is quite strong, obviously. The Yumi, by the way, is had an okay game. The enemy bot lane, obviously, did well, but that is the game. That was Skarna. That is the first. Where's he going? He's going. He's going home. He's leaving. He's he's li literally the Skarna's doing a runner. That is the first ever video I've ever uploaded of Skarna. I got a couple things in my mind. I obviously know the item build a bit more now too. So maybe expect uh, a Skarna game that I actually play Skarna in the next few days, week. I, I don't know. But uh, that was him. If you guys enjoyed, especially that was the first ever... I think, by the way, if I'm not wrong, I think I have a video on every single champion. And I think Skarna was the only champion that I don't have a video on. Feel free to look through the channel and see if there are other, you know, champions uh, that are like that. I don't think so. I think Skarna Legit was the only champion I don't have a video on. But you can find out. Uh, maybe Singed. I, I don't know. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed, throw a like on it. Throw a subscribe. Comment down below. See you guys next time. Peace.